Good evening. I'm thankful to be here and to keep coming back and being able to speak God's word. It's been a hard season. Full of flips and turns and everything in between. But I thank the Lord for being able to speak his word in and out of season. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. That you live in us, that we can come freely before your throne. Thank you, Jesus, our Father. So I had a dream last night, and I don't remember the entire context of it, but the lady um, was giving out instructions for like a scavenger hunt game and we were in the pool in a body of water and she had keys in her hand and she was dropping them in the water so that we could find them and she was like the first one to bring back the key gets the reward or something and she just kept throwing out keys like each round she kept throwing out keys increase the keys increase the keys and it was like we found the key and we we found we were excited and felt like we were receiving something and honestly, I don't remember what happened after that. But the dream dream does confirm the word that the Lord has given me, which is he is the key. He is the key during our hardships. He is the key during our sorrow. He is the key during our pain. He is the key. And then I woke up this morning and the Holy Spirit <clears throat> the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said James run and I'm like I don't really remember the first scripture that came to mind and I don't know if that's even in James or in Peter but resist the devil and he will flee I don't know if that's in James but I woke up and in my spirit I heard James run and so I search up James in the James run and what popped up is James 1 to 4 so the Lord led me to James 1 to 4 1 chapter 1 verse 4 through 6 and I never heard of this version, but it's the voice version. And it says, Don't run from tests and hardships, brothers and sisters. As difficult as they are, you will ultimately find joy in them. If you embrace them, your faith will blossom under pressure and teach you true patience as you endure. And true patience patience brought on by endurance will equip you to complete the long journey and cross the finish line mature complete and wanting nothing if you don't have all the wisdom needed for this journey then all you have to do is ask god for it god will grant that you need he gives lavishly and never scolds you for asking the key is that your request be anchored by your single-minded commitment to God. Those who depend only on their own judgment are like those lost on the seas, carried away by any wave or picked up by any wind. <laughs> and then I guess this like, and so the summary 
um, on the side says, Wisdom as James understands it is the ability to live life well and make good decisions. Wisdom doesn't come from old age or hard knocks. Wisdom begins with knowing and depending absolutely on God, who is never stingy when it comes to wisdom for those who seek it. He supplies all the wisdom we need when we ask. When we try to go it alone without God, trouble is around the corner. I like that it says in verse 6, the key is that your request be anchored by your single-minded commitment to God. We can't rely on our own understanding. This is why the Lord says, lean not on thine own understanding. Because we can get so caught up in our own ways and our own thinking and the habits that we have and the mindset and our feelings and our emotions and all these things. But God provides truth and he provides purpose. And he knows exactly what we need. That patience have a perfect word.